Hello and welcome to the KYDS Financial Literacy Series. This is video 4, Paying for College, Part 2. Student loans is borrowed money designed to pay for school. They usually have a low interest rate and you can pay back the loan once you've completed your education. Your student loans are financed from either a private institution or the federal government, and we will go over the difference between the two in the upcoming slides. Subsidized loans are for undergraduate students based on financial need. The school determines how much money you can borrow based on the cost of attendance and other financial aid you receive. Subsidized loans do not accrue interest while you are in school. There are various ways that you can defer payment for these loans. Some of them include economic hardship and school deferment. You can qualify for an unsubsidized loan regardless of your income or financial need if you are an undergraduate student or graduate student. With unsubsidized loans, the government will charge interest from the time your loan is dispersed through the life of the loan, except for some periods like repayment under income-driven repayment plans. Parent PLUS loans are provided to eligible parents by the U.S. Department of Education. The maximum you can borrow is the cost of attendance minus other financial assistance you may receive. You and your parents are expected to make payments after the loan is dispersed unless you request a deferment. Keep in mind that there are eligibility requirements that must be met in order to receive this type of loan. The Federal Work Study Program provides part-time jobs for students with financial needs, allowing them to earn money to help pay for their education. This means that you can have part-time employment while you're still enrolled in school. It's available to undergraduate, graduate, and professional students with financial needs. And it's available no matter if you're full-time or a part-time student. The program is administered to schools participating in the Federal Work Study Program. When repaying loans, to make payments more affordable, repayment plans can give you more time to repay your loans based on your income. You may select or be assigned a repayment plan when you first begin repaying your student loan, but you can always change your repayment plans at any time for free. Contact your loan servicer if you need to discuss repayment plan options or change your repayment plan. It's best to use a loan simulator. A loan simulator is a tool provided by federal student aid that allows you to make decisions about your student loans. It can be used to find a repayment plan that meets your needs and goals or decide whether to consolidate. It's a great tool that allows you to get an early look at which plans you may be eligible for and see estimates for how much you would have to pay monthly and overall. Note. Private student loans you may have received are not federal loans and are not included in my federal student aid. So to recap, student loans is borrowed money to pay for school. A subsidized loan is a loan that you don't accrue interest for while you're in school. Unsubsidized loans do accrue interest while you're in school. Parent PLUS loans are loans for parents to help their children pay for school. And don't forget that all student loans need to be paid back. Please like and subscribe the KYDS page on YouTube and come back and check out our upcoming video in the financial literacy series, video five, all about budgeting.